Well, we are seeing... Oh, God. I remember the guy in the last name. I, it's on the tip of my tongue. It starts with the K. I think it's Kyler versus Kaze right now? Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin versus Kaze. Kaze. Shout out to the hitbox, Kelvin. Oh, the, yeah, using the hitbox. The one true controller for FTC <laughs> games. Highly recommend their stuff. They, like, it takes some time to get used to it, but once you're used to it, it's just so good. It's a, uh, it's weird for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I don't know what that noise was that I heard. It sounded like know. it did something in the menu. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Kyler is going to be uh, on the right in gameplay. He's on the left in the player cam. Uh, whereas Kaze is rocking that Goku Blue to start, uh, as he has since pretty much day one. Yeah, yeah. So he's actually he's um, he's been debating a little bit whether or not he wants to stick with 21 or switch over to Goku Blue. Um, and I feel like his Goku Blue is coming along pretty well. Mm. He's been putting in a lot of work with it tonight. That's why he's sitting in loser semis against Kelvin. But uh, we've seen a lot of really good Bardock play tonight, yeah. and I'm seeing a lot of it from Kelvin, too. Right, right, yeah. He's actually a really sick character. He's very, very scary. Like, the, especially whenever like, you pair him with good assists, whenever he, he does like his... his uh, I don't actually know what the move is called. The Revenge Assault, I think it is. The Chris Quartzical Forward Light. And once he, he does that, and even if he whips, just calling in Vegeta assist afterwards, it can be. And, uh, you know, speaking of Vegeta assist, the damage he gets in the corner. We just saw a perfect first there from Kelvin, and that is exactly why you put Bardock first, because yeah. when he has assists, he goes absolutely nuts! Yeah, I feel like he like he's sort of a bar user, and a lot of people want to put bar users second, um, just because, you know, you gain more bar when you get in the position. But Bardock builds it fast enough that he just, like, if you get that second hit, he uh, he brings it on, as uh, as it were, and his damage output becomes insane. Especially if you have two assists that can, like, you can do it twice, which I'm pretty sure you can do with Goku Black. Oh wow, that's Bardock gone actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kazi's Yamcha just moves so fast that we were talking about how good Bardock <laughs> right. is, and then Bardock right. was dead Bardock all of a sudden. Bardock actually just dead. Shout out to Yamcha. Yamcha's like, he's a pretty cool character, honestly. I was really scared of him whenever like they were first showing him when the game was first coming out. Uh -huh. Because like his reversal stuff made me, it gave me like PTSD from Wolverine from yeah. Capcom 3, like vanilla. Uh, but I think he's actually pretty cool. Like he's He's got really cool, like really good cross-up stuff, but he's still like, I feel like whenever you do stuff with Yamcha, you are earning it, for sure. I'm just glad that I now have a sound clip of you saying Yamcha is really cool. Yeah, he, he is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because while you may have a sound clip of me saying Yamcha is really cool, I actually believe it that Yamcha as a character is cool. <laughs> I think he is. I think he's cool. He gets too much hate. He yeah. deserves a little bit. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I will specify that in this game, Yamcha is cool. I don't know about DBZ in general. All right, well, now they, they, just... they do him dirty in Super. <laughs> I mean, they do him dirty all the time. They kind of do. You're not wrong. Speaking of doing it dirty, cool. Kelvin is coming back with a vengeance after getting his Goku Black taken care of by Yamcha. And this Vegeta is putting in work against Goku Black. Cool. Okay. I'm kind of surprised he didn't advantage there off the, the light aerials to get more damage, but... Now Kaze gonna take some momentum. Oh yeah, this is a really good Wolf Fink yeah, Fist. Yeah, you gotta respect the Wolf Fink Fist. Comes out so fast. It will cover your your tech like that. Got to be ready to block. Not slipping out for sure. Ooh. Oh, and he actually wanted the sparking. He tried to 2H it, but he can't wait until after the animation. Well, Kaze still got sparking on his deck along with two characters, but he's just gonna let Vegeta knee him six times and hit one of them. Oh. Sparking is something else. Yes, sir. Final Flash going to take out another solid fifth or quarter because of his health. And because of that, he's going to say, all right, my Yamcha's been handling this guy. I want to keep him in the game. Absolutely, yeah. Cool. Okay. Oh, I think losing out on a little bit of conversion there. I think that was also supposed to be the, uh, the special rather than just the key blast. Oh. Once again, Yamcha doing work. Ooh, the Neo Wolf Fang Fist coming in. That's Close. the three bar from Yamcha, and yep. that's going to take it. That Yamcha, Yamcha does not necessarily always put in a lot of damage. Yeah, Kaze yeah. made it look like he has insane damage output. For sure, yeah. Like the, um, I think it's specifically whenever you land like the the cross up wolfing like fist, the, the the rapid slashes, where his damage output's really really bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like open people up with normal ways, his damage output is not bad. 
Oh, got to watch out for the overhead on the end of that. And we're back into game two. And by the way, glad that they're on Planet Namek with the Namek music because this is a top tier music game. It is really good. I mean, I mean, a lot of the music in this game, let's be real, is very, okay, very good. Okay, yeah, pretty much everything is awesome. Yeah. I feel like the, even the hit, like the, the OST for hit, the song for hit is good. It just doesn't really fit combat, in my opinion. Smooth jazz versus, you know, the I enjoy rip and, it. Yeah, it, it's good music, but it's not the rip and roar, you know, Arxis. No. <laughs> power chords. It is not Planet Namek, it which is. It is not Planet Namek. <laughs> it is not West City. Man, yeah, West City's really good. What also is really good is what Kelvin just did to this Goku Blue, which we were talking up earlier, but it's just been handled at the beginning of these two games. Yeah, yeah, cool. That can't just be That's the, the craziest part of Vegeta Assist. Isn't even necessarily like the pressure strings or the like the um, combo extensions that you can do with him. But if if your opponent's just like moving around and jumping around in the scramble and just calls Vegeta Assist and blocks, like it's so hard not to attack. Like, yeah. Really, like good players will still do it. Get like opened up by it. Well, there's the cross up. Yeah, can I actually get a combo off of that? A little bit of a drop there from Gase. Cool. Overhead's coming in. Kevin's on a pretty clean streak right now. Yeah, he hasn't been... Mm, okay, okay, interesting. The wake-up level 3 did get him out of the corner, so maybe worth... Not a total not sure. loss. Not a total loss, yeah. He definitely could have died for that, so... <laughs> I think he, think he could have also gotten out of the corner that same way with... Uh, maybe the medium wolfing fist? But it uh, is also sure. pretty unsafe if he's on the ground. Yeah. Oh... Nice reflect out of the pressure. And Kelvin's made a lot of really good adaptations in this match. Oh, yeah, this match is insane. Nice pressure. Looks like going to beat the teleport startup. Now, Kaze getting his hand in the game. Going to be getting a... Probably going to DHC off of this. Put his black on the bench. Get that blue health back. The Spirit Ball, one of the weaker uh, supers in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of tricky stuff you can do with it, but its actual damage output is like... Maybe the worst level one. I think it is. It is. I would not be surprised. All right. Well, Kelvin's got the Bardock back out on the field. But, you know, Bardock's big advantage is that he can put on so much pressure and he's just so fast compared to other characters. Yes, really fast. Lots but we've seen just how quick Kaze's Yamcha is so far. Yeah, yeah. Yamcha's definitely got stuff. He's got lots of tricky ways to move around. That, that like, the EX will think this, but he does can actually go, like, full screen. And it's yeah. safe on block, unlike Vegeta's, like... Four cycle four kick heavy. That's a dead Yamcha though. Yeah. Going for those level ones, that's gonna put it right down to Goku Black versus three characters. Now we've seen a Goku Black take on three characters earlier tonight. Right. Tell me uh, about I don't. That. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you would uh, know about that. Yeah. Uh, tell me about it later. Yeah, I'll have to tell you about it later. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, he's still got the level 3 sparking. Not all is lost, and he is going to use it now to take care of Bardock. Oh, no! Drop. He's going to be able to swap soon. Swap is available now, but does get opened up by the double overhead. Once you're in sparking, you can air dash cancel your universal overhead, so you can do pressure strings like that. It's really sick. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, wow! <laughs> well, like, sniped the Vegeta with the, yeah. the Kai Beam. And maybe that was the intention. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's yeah, this dope. should not take care of him yet, but... Yeah, I don't be looking afterwards. Okay, can I reflect out? Get caught by their advantage, but that's honestly worth it. Like taking a little bit of damage to get out of the corner. Yep. Oh, that's not worth it. He that is back in the corner and dead, sir. All right. It's now 1-1. One, one. What? So... I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So the the hitbox is a little bit weird in that it has like personalized uh, drivers to make it so that it syncs properly with the PS4. Mm -hmm. And they just did a hardware update for the PS4 that messes with that, I think. So, oh. uh, so he's, he, Kelvin is doing that to um, to reset the timer to make sure it doesn't time out. Because you really don't want your hitbox to turn off in the middle of a tournament. That is not an optimal strat. I will I will tell you the other night I was uh, playing some DBFC online and my controller did disconnect in the middle of it's, the game. It's the worst feeling. And actually. I lost my entire Broly who was at full health. Yeah. It's <laughs> I was like, well, where at? Where's my cable? Right. <laughs> yeah, you can get that around for it. I and tuned back in and I got touched death. <laughs> <laughs> and Kelvin once again getting in with the Bardock. Got lots of bar to spend, but he's not in the corner. Gonna have to push him out. Cool. Oh man. Bardock hits like he his his hit sounds are just so satisfying. Like his like auto combo, like the second hit, like the double like handle that bounces you off the ground. That just sounds like it hurts. Yeah. 
Well, drop on the combo, but still got the hit in the scramble. Yeah, he is up by quite a bit, and I think Kaze just tried to, you know, after his Goku Blue got a little bit, a little bit hurt up again, he decided, all right, maybe I'll try to put out Goku Black, see what I can do with him out front. But uh, Bardock was able to take care of him too. It turns out Bardock's just really good. He's just really good. Yeah, he's a really solid character. That's a great reflex. Yeah, he's still gonna get opened up though. Vegeta says pinning him down. Corner combo. Ooh, great extension. Oh, he, this is a dead character. He's got too much bar. Bring it on, oh, yeah. he says. And then one more. Oh yeah, he's gonna go straight oh. to level three. <laughs> I don't know if the final flash was necessary. Yeah, he definitely could have just DHC twice, and that would have been more than enough. But you know, shout outs to final flash. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not about winning, it's about sending a message. And that sends a message. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Kelvin can do both. <laughs> Ooh, really good sparking to keep. Play, some, play a little keep away from that Dragon Rush. Oh man, a drop, didn't get the a forward jump, and just do it. Strap your Nikes on and DP. Go for the heavy. Now, Kelvin may not have any bars left. But he does have three health bars left. He does, yeah. Oh. Reflect. Great reflect. Oh, that assist call is godlike. Oh, actually, he missed the combo. Oh, that is going to be a level three. Vegeta's going to live. He's going to be. Uh, no, this is going to be a level five and a oh, dead Vegeta. You're right, you're right, actually. He's, uh, <laughs> he is Goku Blue. So he's going to spend. He's going to cash out a lot of bars and cash in one dead Vegeta. Down. Um, there you are! That was a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that does so much. That's a lot of damage. But to be fair, Kelvin got three bars for that. It's true. For getting it. They said, you got hit by level five, here's two of them. <laughs> yeah, here's a little consolation. <laughs> you, can, you can have two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone drop these if you just want to. Cool. Yep. Have vanished, not safe. Gonna get two H'd, and that will be. Yep, that will Kelvin. do it. Kelvin will move on. To losers finals where he does not need to disconnect his controller because he is still going to be playing. Right, I don't know if he knows that. <laughs> I think he stood up. <laughs> well, either way. It's, uh, kind of, it's, it's kind of convenient though. I mean, another, another great reason to play Hitbox over other stuff is that